Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, dynamic indicators on the rear of a BMW F20. We'll first start off by showing it's just a standard bulb and now let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is remove this headlight. So what you're going to do here is you're going to be unclipping this. It's just a little panel here and that reveals a single nut. You're going to take your wrench and then you're going to take your socket, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and then you're simply going to undo this, this nut here and all this does, it's not held on very tightly so you can do it by hand once you've done the first bit, all this does is hold the unit onto the car. Next thing you want to do is you want to tuck your hand inside here and then the supporting hand here and you're going to want to pull back. Okay? Next thing is to undo. I've just undone this bit. You'll see in the up close. So you undo this bit and then unplug the harness here. And there you have it. You've released your headlight. So now you you can do this in the boot of your car, but I've chosen to do it on a solid desk. You might want to put some cardboard down just to protect the lens. Next thing you want to do is you want to remove this panel. This is done by one, two, three, four, five clips. And to undo these clips, you simply pull out and push up. It's quite difficult because you almost need to do them all at the same time. But if you slowly work your way around, order doesn't really matter. Just whichever one feels like it's going to come off easiest. Just slowly work your way around and it'll eventually pop out. Then in here, you'll see that you have your normal bulbs. So now obviously the bulb of interest is the indicator. We're not gonna need this again, so strictly speaking, it doesn't matter. But just for good practice, you don't wanna be touching it with your fingers. So you want to push in and twist to undo the bayonet fitting and you want to place that down to one side so now you're bringing your kit you've got the same bayonet sit fitting that you saw on the indicator bulb so you simply want to plug that in just as you did the bulb in and twist and that should be sat in there very firmly the next thing you want to do is to remove the backing of the tape that's provided As so. Now it comes for the tricky bit. You want to look down and then you want to be sticking in so that the long wire end is at the whole end. And you want to push through as far as it'll go. And then just as the edge of the sticky is on the edge of the hole, you want to press up. And then here, along this edge, on the other side is where the LED lights are mounted. So next thing next, this might be quite tricky for you to see. You want to flip over so the LED strip is lying down. And as you can see, the LED strip is there, but it still needs to be pushed down. So this might be quite tricky to see, but I'm using a pry tool and you just want to simply push down all the way on the light strip. Going over once, twice, three times, just making sure that's nice and securely in there. So now that's installed, what you want to do is make sure this wiring fits nicely into this area here. I'm gonna route that round through there. So as you can see, there's a nice routing for the wiring to slide into there. Once again, this isn't technically difficult, it's just a little bit fiddly. And some of you might be wondering why for the long wiring, and that's simply because if in the future you come to take this off and you forget that that's mounted on there, it gives you a long time to remember that that's still connected. Otherwise, you could simply yank that out and damage the kit. So what you want to do, push that all into there, 
and then making sure no wires are trapped at all. I'm going to push this into here, just like so. And then, once again, going round, making sure that all the clips are secured. And there you have it, it's installed. Okay, so finally it comes back to doing the install. And what we want to be doing here is we want to make sure that that plug goes through there and this goes through there. So the first thing you'll do is connect up to the harness, push that in, and then not forgetting that routing there by plugging that white into there. Next thing you want to do is making sure that you're lining everything up. And once you're happy that everything is lined up, you just want to give it one big push. And then again, and that now is secure and it's not going anywhere. And it's a reverse process of installing the nut, then tightening it back up. And then finally replacing the cover plate, which simply hooks round through the holes and then push in until the two connectors clip. And there you have it, dynamic indicators on the rear of a BMW F20.